Hi, welcome to Prequilt. My name is Gar and for this video I want to talk about this uh, improvement that we've done to the fabric importer right here. So you've always been able to uh, upload uh, images from your computer or downloading an image from an online store to then upload it uh, to your account. Uh, so this process of uh, up downloading and then uploading uh, from online stores is a little tedious. So we went ahead and improved that uh, process with this new feature where you can now directly browse from an online store. So I'm just going to click this to show you what I mean. Uh, so we only have one store right now. Uh, we're working on others to uh, uh, make this uh, library larger so that uh, includes uh, other local stores that are closer to where you live. Um, so right now we only have uh, Manaba Patchworks and that's in Ottawa. Uh, if you have any other uh, fabric stores that you'd like to see uh, in this list, uh, just let us know and we'll reach out and we'll try to uh, collaborate with them to include it in the app. So I'm just going to click and browse to see what uh, they have. And on the left is a list of um, different colors. And so right now we're seeing all the magenta uh, fabrics and uh, you can see the greens and uh, so on here. So what makes this process a lot easier is that we're seeing exactly what uh, the fabric exactly as it would be on Mad About Patchworks. Um, so you don't have to worry about, so when they release a new fabric, uh, you're able to see it uh, on here as well. So if you want to uh, save this to your account, you just click this button. Uh, so we click on to one green and we'll go to the magenta and we'll add that. And so let's close this off and see if uh, how that's uh, added to our account. So you can see that we have two of them here. I'm just going to edit uh, this because I want to crop the bottom part. So I want to crop the bottom and I'm going to do it by clicking here. Or you can use the keyboard, the up arrow, and I'm just going to hold shift and press up and that's a little faster. Uh, okay, too much. There you go. Okay, and then I want to just edit that. Just kind of clean this out a little. And so save that. And uh, I could also uh, shop, go to their uh, to the website by clicking here. Uh, that takes me to the the shop, and that's and then I can just easily add the items to the cart and then check out and make my purchase when I'm ready. So I'm just going to close this window off and go back to the app uh, or you can delete it. So yeah, so this is how you would add fabric uh, to your account. And so once it's added, you could uh, addition these fabrics into your blocks or your quilt. So let me just open up this custom block that I created over here and I'm just going to so this brings up my block editor. And this block, is this heart is made up of uh, three shapes. So I'm just gonna select this uh, square, rotated square. And I click on the prints and I wanna see all the fabrics that are in my count. So it's just these two. And then I want to include that. And then do that. And so that's it. So my block is done. I could just close this off, save it, and um, and so that's how I would uh, addition the fabric into the blocks. Uh, you can also um, update an existing quilt with the fabric. So let's say I want to see how the fabric uh, would look on this quilt. Um, I don't want to edit this, so I'm just going to clone it so that way uh, I can keep this original intact and then just open it. And then maybe give this one a name like uh, uh, Diamonds uh, Fabric. And so basically this quilt is made up of a hundred of these blocks right here. Uh, so I need to edit that block. Um, you can edit by right clicking and then just uh, go into edit block and that brings up the block editor right here. Um, so I want to select this shape right here and then open up the prints and then browse this. Uh, this time I want to see if they have like a different shade of red. Let's see. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's try this one. And let's poke it up. 
I can go see my fabric. I'm going to edit this. Um, crop the bottom. And then two of the, two of the pinks. And then save that. And now I want to use this in the block. All right? So now I'm going to save this uh, to my quilt. And that was uh, that was easy. I'm just going to go in here and then I want to edit and maybe make this uh, the dots, uh, the scale of this a little bigger. Okay? And then uh, like that. Now close this off. And so that's it. I like this. I'm going to keep it like this. And now that I'm done, I want to download uh, the images. Okay. So I can download this uh, JPEG onto my computer. Uh, as well, it provides kind of like a shopping list of uh, the fabric that I used. So I used two Konas and this uh, Tula Pink uh, fabric. So what's great about this little shopping list here is that it even has a buy button here. So if you used all the uh, fabric here, you can just keep on clicking uh, the buy and then that takes you to the, um, the fabric store. Okay, so I'm going to close this off and then return back and then save this quilt. And so that's it. Um, I hope you find this uh, new process uh, importing fabric a lot easier. Again, if you um, want to see any fabric stores uh, that you shop at, uh, let us know in the comments below and we'll try to uh, collaborate with them to include them into the app. So yeah, so if you uh, want to follow us, uh, that would be great or give us a thumbs up. Much appreciated. I uh, hope you enjoy the app and uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching.